Let's compare the two molecules, BF3 and NF3. Drawing a Lewis diagram will assist in determining the electron pair geometry and molecular shape for each molecule. To begin drawing a Lewis diagram, find the number of valence electrons in each atom to calculate the number of valence electrons for the molecule. Refer to the periodic table of elements to find these values. In BF3, the total number of valence electrons is 24. Three electrons from boron and seven electrons from each fluorine atom. The total number of valence electrons in NF3 is 26. Five electrons from nitrogen and seven electrons from each fluorine atom. To confirm the correct Lewis diagram for BF3 and NF3 was drawn, count the number of valence electrons and compare that value to the calculated number of valence electrons. If this value is the same, the correct diagram was drawn. Given that there are three electron groups and three bonded atoms in the molecule BF3, the electron pair geometry and molecular shape is trigonal planar. The bond angle for this molecule is 120 degrees. Since there are four electron groups in NF3, the electron pair geometry is tetrahedral. Seeing that there are only three atoms bonded to the central atom, the molecular shape is bent. The lone electron pair on nitrogen exerts greater repulsion towards the other electron groups, causing the bond angle between the fluorine atoms to be 107.5 degrees rather than 109.5 degrees. Notice that the bonds in the trigonal planar molecule, BF3, reside on the same plane. Differently, in the tetrahedral molecule, NF3, the bonds are located on different planes. Next, let's compare the type of bonds present in both molecules. Finding the electronegativity difference between each atom will assist in determining which type of bond is present in each molecule. In BF3, the electronegativity difference between fluorine and boron is 2.0. For NF3, the electronegativity difference between fluorine and nitrogen is 1.0. When referring back to the possible bond types, these molecules have polar covalent bonds. Although there are polar bonds present in both molecules, the polarity cannot be assumed as polar. To predict molecular polarity for each molecule, draw dipole moments for each bond. Dipole moments show the direction of the greatest electron density. Start the arrow at the positive end and draw the point of the arrow towards the negative end of the bond. To determine if the molecule has a net dipole, add the vectors together. Begin by drawing the first vector, paying attention to the length and the orientation. Then continue by drawing the second vector starting from the head of the previous vector. Continue to draw vectors until all are used. If the head of the final vector is located at the tail of the first, then no net dipole moment exists and the molecule is considered nonpolar. As the bond dipole moments cancel, BF3 is nonpolar. Since the dipole moments do not cancel in NF3, this molecule has a net dipole and is considered to be a polar molecule.